So let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to build a dresser. So this is a challenge because I've never built a freestanding piece of furniture. So hopefully you'll bear with me as I go through trying to design this thing. So the only things I really know about this dresser is the dimensions. So I want it to be about 25 inches wide, 23 deep, and about 41 inches tall. So it's going to go in the closet. Nobody's really going to see it but me and my wife. So it's not a public display, but yet I want to build this to have a couple of features to maximize the actual footage or storage in the dresser. So the one thing I'm going to do is kind of build it with the frame displayed as part of the build rather than have a big box and then move it in. I want to make the frame part of the outside or the skeleton that you can see. So if you have any comments, you have any critiques, you have any things that you think you could recommend to do it better, please leave me comments down below and we'll get started. So this box right here is really what we're talking about building. It's going to be 25 wide, 23 deep, 41 tall. And then we're going to come over here and each one of our drawers is going to be 6 and 3 eighths deep. And the 3 quarters inch dividers and the top one will be one inch and then we'll cut a half inch dado inside for these little drawer slide boxes to fit in. So the actual drawer slide boxes that uh, we're going to build, they're going to be 23 inch long here. This middle piece will be 20 and so that's an inch and a half so there's to be 23 by 23 actual dimensions and then we'll draw uh, join these with pocket hole screws and glue. So I've been to the Pulte Lumberyard. Let me show you what I got. I was at the Pulte Lumberyard for free in the trash bin. All I had to do was remove a few nails, cut off the pieces that wouldn't fit, put it in the car and take it home. Okay, now I have the uh, side inside brace pieces. They're an inch and a half by the two by four width about the one and the three eighths. I'm gonna cut those to three quarters inch thick. Okay, so I have my corner legs post cut. They're one quarter, excuse me, one and a half inch square by 40 one inch is long and then I have the top inside box and again these are just the frames on the inside of which we will have the drawers right on top of that so this is the skeleton if you will for that so we got those cut so the next step is to cut dados in here for these pieces to fit in we'll take these pieces and join them up with pocket hole screws. Okay, so this is the first uh, frame box that I have put together. This will be the very top one. So I have pocket hole screws on the other side. I have glued this. I have the clamps on it. So we have those four corners. They're measured across to make sure it's square. And we'll let that dry. I got one pair of clamps that'll expand this large. So it'll be a slow process. So we'll do another one tomorrow.
All right, so now what I'm doing, I made me a sample piece of my actual long leg because I want to do some sample cuts. So this is rough cutouts, same dimensions, just shorter in length. So my thinking is to cut a groove alongside here a quarter of an inch wide and then I can have other pieces slide down between the two and cut pieces with a quarter inch width and be flush up to here and would we'll just slide those down so I wanted to make a sample piece to see how that works so that's what we're doing. Better to mess up with the sample piece than the actual piece you're going to be using. I want to thank my friend Aaron over at the Toolbox who provided me this Ryobi Arbital Sander. So I bought my table saw from him and he sells tools at about half what you're going to find on regular list price. He gets a lot of reclaimed and return stuff. He's a good deal so if you're in Dallas look up the Toolbox. These two pieces will be like this. How do we put something in here for a side piece without expanding the footprint? And so what I'm going to do is each side of here, I'm going to cut an eighth inch dado all the way down. And here's my sample piece that I made. And so here's the dado cut in here. Then I'll come and cut these half inch pieces of strip here and put a quarter inch dado in here and have these fit in here like this. So I have room between the dado and the other side and this reveal will come in and this will be just a smidge below the flush point. And so I'll make a whole bunch of these little slats like this. try to figure out with the help of a couple of clamps maybe it'll be a little easier to figure out. So here we are with our dry fit and so this is the side piece over here this is the front where the drawers will slide in and out. So now what we need to do is understand that these little dados we have here we're gonna have these little pieces that will slide in here figure that out. So right now what we want to do is figure out that we want this drawer, this uh, side pieces to stop oh at about three and a quarter inches so it will be just a smidge past that last drawer slide box. So I have 50 of these pieces to cut, so these are going to be the sides that will fit in the dado cut on the side of the dresser, and that is going to be a half lap, so I have a quarter inch deep by a half inch long, 
And so we have to cut 50 of these. So I built me a little jig so I could cut three at a time. Otherwise, I'd be here till next Tuesday. So I have my clamps first, then I have some parchment paper on top of the clamp so they'll squeeze out going through, won't gunk up the clamps. Then I have my boards that I'm gluing together, all squeezed together, another piece of parchment paper. Then we have a board on top of that with a clamp to hold that down and firm, prevent it from buckling. And then the most important thing I have here is my beer. So here's one thing I've learned. When you do a project for the very first time, such as building a dresser, you have to have the right jigs to be able to make certain cuts. So this one I had to build to make a straight cut on my drawer panels and the back panels. So when you do a glue up and it's real long, you have both sides that are not parallel or not even. You can't put this up against your fence and cut it because this cut will reflect whatever ragged edge you have here. So attempt to cut it square, you need one of these. So here we are, I have my dresser, I've got my drawer panels completed, front and back. These are oak on the front and they're pine on the back. But I have one drawer panel that has a little bit of a bow, I'd say that's a lot of bow in it. I'm going to have to remake this one. I have a feeling that I was Clamping that with too much pressure and the weight of my clamps caused this. So we'll make one more of those and then we'll be ready to start on the drawer boxes. So what we want to do is see if you have any ideas for making drawer boxes. You know, whether they're half laps or dovetail or pocket hole connections. We all want to join the boxes in some form or fashion, so I'd like your ideas. So leave some comment below. I have a neat task I'm going to try to do for the top, and I'm going to make a little uh, circular cut with the table saw to make a little uh, change divot, so I can put change on top of the dresser. It has a little divot out there, so the changes stay in one spot, or my keys, or my wallet or anything like that. So that will be something I'll be working on, so I'll have to build another jig for that task. So leave me some comments below on drawer boxes, on ways that you would do it, or maybe videos that you've seen that you'd recommend for my drawer boxes. So that's it for now. Come back and see us real soon. We look forward to the next part. Here's the pile of lumber, or I should say the remnants of lumber that I have left over that I did not use in building my dresser. So that was a lot of lumber.
So in efforts to get all this done very efficiently, as I drilled the pocket hole screws in each of these to join these pieces, I also had a case where I actually <laughs> didn't know it, but I drilled both sides of this, so that's not going to work. So now I'm going to plug these up with pocket hole screws. So when now I've taken the clamps off the two drawer front panels and let me show you what I have. They aren't straight. And I don't know what I did wrong. So I okay, now we're gonna move from the back of the box to over here on the side where we're going to nail in our side rails. In case they need some adjustment. Let's see how the drawer slides. Whoa. <laughs> Too tight. I have accidentally nailed it into the drawer. So now we're going to have to figure out which side of that is. Okay, now took it. We didn't nail one, we nailed the, the drawer twice, so we'll be more careful. We'll pull these out and re-nail this section a little more carefully. Back as it goes. And you can see, whoops, it has a little. So I built me this jig to do that. So I have my runner right here that fits in my, and then I have a couple of guides I've installed here and everything's falling off.